Hello, boys and girls. Miss Gallagher is so excited to start a new fascinating project. We're going to be researching and learning about animals that can be found in your own backyard. When we go on our field trip to the state park, hopefully we will see some of the animals that you have learned about. Today, boys and girls, we're going to take a look at logging into something、uh, that you might not be familiar with. It's called Gaggle. In Miss Gallagher's class, we will be using Gaggle for a lot of different things, and that's where we're going to keep a lot of our work. So you might be asking, what is Gaggle? Gaggle is email for you. You can email me. You can email your friends, and you can email anybody that you know their email address for. It's also a place where you can make a slide presentation and type documents. This is the main thing that we're going to use Gaggle for. Gaggle is also a place where you can do some social media, like Facebook, that's monitored.、Um, but if you'd like to take a look at that, you'll explore that on your own. So let's take a look at how to actually get into your Gaggle account. Now, to load your Gaggle account, you'll need to open a web browser. I like to use Google Chrome. That's my personal preference. You could use Firefox or Safari. Next, you're going to go to the Wingsport Area School District main page, www.wasd.org. From there, you're going to click Parent and Students. Click Student Gaggle Email. From there, you're going to click the Click Here button, and you're going to put in your username and password. Your username is the same things that you will use for. Uh, AR, and your password is your number that you use for lunch. It's your student ID number. Then click log in. Make sure that you click the accept button. Skip that, and it is loading. That is how you log in to your Gaggle account. Today we account. will begin our research for our animal research projects. When we research, we are looking for credible sources that give us information about the animal that you have been assigned. We're going to use several different sources to get our information from. You can search online using the search bar in the WebQuest, or you can go to the library and look for a nonfiction book. One main thing that you need to remember is not to write from the book word for word. This is called plagiarism. Make sure you sum up what you have learned from the source and put it on your web in your own words. When you research, you can write short phrases in the web. You do not need to write complete sentences during this part of your research. Good luck and have fun learning about an animal that can be found in your own backyard.
So, boys and girls, if you think you are ready to present your research to your classmates, make sure you have all parts of your project complete. Ask yourself: Did I create a slideshow presentation? Did I write a six-paragraph essay in my own words with the facts that I found in my research? Did I practice what I want to say during my presentation so that I can have eye contact with my class? I can't wait to hear what you have learned.